Alright, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about quadratic sequences. I'm going to have two videos on quadratic sequences because I have two methods to solve them. This is the first one and I kind of found this out on my own so I don't really have a good name for it. For now, I'll just call it matching n square because that's what we are kind of trying to do. Okay, so first let's take a look at n square. Okay, so this is the most natural quadratic sequence if you will. So you can take a look at this and see that this is actually 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square. So most primary school kids should already know this, right? Because this is in the multiplication table. And of course it can go on and on, but I'll just stop here. But, you know, the sequences that we're given to solve usually aren't so so nice, you know. We're given maybe n square plus 2n plus 3, sometimes even minus n square, you know, minus 2n. 4. There can be just so many, so many different types. But they all follow a same sort of pattern, okay? And that is you have something n square plus another something n plus something, right? Okay. So this is the coefficient of n square, this is the coefficient of n, and this is what we call the constant, right? Because this one is just a number that shifts the sequence, right, to the left or to the right, by a particular number. Okay, so now that we've got this down, let's just analyze n square. So we just look at the differences here, okay. 1 and 4, you have 3, here you have 5, and here you have uh, 7 and 9, okay. And then again, I'll do it one more time, until we reach the third layer. This is the third layer, okay, so first, second, third layer, okay. So just take a look at this. Can you see that this second layer here is actually a linear sequence, right? So I should have a video up before this on linear sequences, okay? Because you need to know uh, briefly what linear sequences are, okay? So linear sequences, they differ by a constant number. As you can tell right here, they differ by 2. And then right at the bottom, you can see this sequence is it's just nothing. It's just a constant number. The sequence is just 2. It is independent of n, which means it doesn't matter what n is, it's just going to be 2. Okay, so now I'm going to say something and you just have to take my word for it. This is what I'm going to call the n square layer. This is the n layer and this is the constant layer, okay? Okay, why? Uh, we'll come to it later in a bit, okay? And you'll understand what I'm trying to do here. But first, let's start with a, a question, okay? So let's try to figure out what this sequence is. What is the formula for this sequence that we're given here? Okay, so first I'm gonna take a look at the differences. Okay, hopefully I didn't calculate wrongly. <laughs> Alright, okay, so of course all quadratic sequences will look kind of like this, in the sense that the third layer will be a constant number, okay? But take a look at this now and then Look at that. Okay, can you see that? So we will kind of uh, match n square from the bottom to the top, okay? So we will, we will match the bottom layer first. And as you can see, the bottom layer of n square is 2, and the bottom layer of the sequence we want to achieve is 4. So naturally, I want to times 2, the bottom layer, right? So let's try that, okay? So let's try 2n square, this sequence. So I times 2 this, I'll get 2, just times 2, 8, then you'll get 18, right? 32. And you get 50. Okay, so let's just look at this quickly. And you'll see that this is going to be 6, <coughs> uh, 10, 14, and then you get uh, 18, right? And then as you can see, just as we wanted, you can just kind of ignore the second layer first. Just match the bottom layer first. You can see that we've already matched the bottom layer. So once we've matched the bottom layer, we are done with the n square part. Okay, so we know that in the blanks here, it will be 2, okay? But we have to kind of figure out what is these two things, right? So then we have to look at the second layer. From here to here, all you have to do is just add by the difference, okay? So here, from 6 to 8, can you see this sequence? Just look at this sequence, okay? Just look at this sequence here. 6, 10, 14, 18. And then look at this. 8, 12, 16, 20. Can you see that they differ by 2? If I plus 2 to every one of these, 
I will get this sequence, right? So, I'm gonna tell you that this is what you should put inside, okay? You can, if you don't trust me, you can try. <coughs> okay? Let just try and do it, okay? So 2n squared will give me this plus 2n, 2n, which means plus 2, right? Because 2 times 1 is 2. So 8 plus 2n, 2 times 2 will give me 4, right? 12. This plus another 2 times 3 will give me 24. Plus 8, 40, plus 10, 60. So as you can see, it's perfect. So in this case, we don't have to match the constant because we have really gotten the original sequence. So the constant is just zero, right? There's no need to shift the sequence to a left or to a right. So this answer, I mean this sequence, this one is the answer, okay? Alright, so I hope you kind of get what I'm doing right right now, but if you don't, we'll try one more. We'll actually do two more, but yeah. The next one first. Hopefully you'll get the hang of it soon. It's actually uh, not that hard once you get it, but it can be a little bit tedious. So, your mental calculation, actually you don't really need mental calculation. You can use a calculator nowadays. You can just use a calculator for anything. So let's try another one, because this one is a little bit more interesting. It might shock you for a while, or it might not at all. Okay, so we've got this. I'll just quickly write down for you. Okay, so I've already done all the differences. As you can tell, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 11, blah blah blah. The difference is 1, okay? Now let's try and match n squared. So n squared at this layer is 2 and here is 1. So naturally I would try n squared over 2, correct? And you start to realize, oh, but then I have half, right? Don't worry. So I'm telling you that this is actually not a problem at all. Okay, uh, 1.5. I'll just do it quickly. You can uh, pause this to verify this if you want. Okay, <coughs> so I've really matched <coughs> the n squared layer, right? So, if so, this sequence, let's just uh, maybe do it here. It'll be something n squared plus something n plus something, right? So, this is going to be half, correct? I've divided it by 2. Alright, now we have to match the n layer. So from here, I want to get to here. So again, we just focus. Focus on the middle layer sequence, shall we? Okay, just look at this. That's all we need to do. So all you have to do, can you see that this one, if you plus 2.5, you'll get this, correct? 1.5 plus 2.5 gives me 4. 2.5 plus 2.5 gives me 5. So you should get n squared over 2 plus 2.5 n, okay? Now don't worry about the <laughs> fraction of decimal, it doesn't matter, but at, I, over here I can just write 5 over 2. 5 over 2 is 2 over 5. I mean 5 over 2 is 2.5. Okay. Um, so let's just figure what this is. Okay, 2.5 n. So here I will plus 2.5, correct? Plus 5, 7, plus 7.5. That will give me 12, okay, plus 10, 18, plus 12.5, 25, okay. So now let's look at this and look at our original sequence. Can you see? It starts with a 3, 7, 12, 18, and 25. Well, whereas here it starts with 2, 6, 11, 17, 24. It's just one less than that, right? So very naturally, all I have to do is just, I don't really need to write this anymore, but I'll just write it minus this entire sequence, shift this entire sequence to the left by 1. So this would give me 2, 6, 11, 17, 24. And if you just look over here, you see that it's actually the same thing. So we have gotten our sequence here. So it will be minus 1. So I'll just change this to a minus 1. Okay, so this is the formula for, the, for this particular sequence. Alright, let's try one last one. Okay. So this last one is the most um, difficult one, of course. The hardest for the last. Okay, hold on. Alright, let's just look at this one. So, most of us are quite used to positive sequences. You know, they're getting bigger and bigger, but this one is not. 
This one is a sequence that gets smaller and smaller. <coughs> okay, but there's nothing to worry about. Okay, so now I've done this, as you can see, the original sequence 1 minus 2 minus 8 minus 17 minus 29. It's a sequence that gets smaller. But nevertheless, it's still a quadratic sequence because uh, the third level is a constant number, right? Okay, so let's try and match the end square. So now, there's a little bit of a problem. No big problem. This is not multiple of this, right? And it's not like you can just divide by 2. But then you can just divide this by 2. N square, divide by 2. And then times 3, and you get 3, right? <coughs> so I'm telling you, if you take N square, if you divide by 2, this will give me 1, a difference of 1. And then I times 3, correct? To get 3, and then I have to put a minus sign in front to get minus 3, okay? So, <coughs> let me just write this nicely. You should just get minus 3 over 2 and square. So this one might be a little bit trickier if you're doing it with mental calculation. But otherwise, I think it should be okay. Minus 1.5. The next one will be minus 6, minus 13.5, okay. And then, what else do I have? Okay, I'm just going to quickly do this one. Hopefully it won't take me too long. 16, 8 times 3, minus 24. Please tell me I didn't mess that up. Okay, so here the difference will be minus 4.5, <coughs> minus 7.5. So this should give me, hopefully, if everything went well, minus 10.5. Okay, I'm just not doing the last one because it's not necessary. Okay, so minus 3, minus 3. Great! Very nice, we've got it. Okay, so what we have to do now is to match the end, end level, okay, the middle one. This one, I'll just highlight again. For you if you still don't see it by now okay okay so this one you can see uh, I just need to add 1.5 to this to get 3 so as you can tell uh, you need to have some good mental power I think okay again don't worry about the fraction or decimal you can f fix that at the end at the very end okay so let's try and do this. So plus 1.5 and this will give me plus 1.5. It's just going to give me 0. Don't worry about that. Plus 3. Minus 3. Plus 4.5. This is going to give me 9, I think. Minus 9, sorry. Then plus, what is this? Oh, 6, right? Okay. I should get minus 80. Okay. Very good. So we've cleared the end layer. Now we just work on the constant. Let's just take a look at this and this. So, I think it should be obvious, hopefully, <laughs> that you need to just plus 1. If I plus 1, I just shift everything by 1, right, to the right. So this will become minus 2, minus 8, and then minus 17, okay? So, there we have it. You can see it's actually the original sequence. I didn't do the last number because, yeah. You can try and do it, but you will see that it's going to be the same. Actually, you just need three numbers. Three numbers is sufficient to do it. You don't really need to get all the four numbers, five numbers, okay? Alright, so that's all for today. Uh, the next one is actually really interesting as well. The next method that I have is doing by integration, but you need to know integration. So if you don't know what integration is, then I'm sorry, that won't help you. But if you know that, then actually that method is faster. This method is more fundamental. So that's really all that I have to say. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.